Hi there and welcome to my channel. I know you're probably wondering like, hmm, how is she doing that? So today I want to show you exactly how to create your own talking avatar in three simple steps. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you'll want to do is get your own avatar. So for the uh, for this video, we're going to use TensorArt. Uh, TensorArt is a free online uh, image generator. You can click the, uh, the link is in the description. It will take you to TensorArt or you can go to Google and just search TensorArt. So once you're here, you'll realize that uh, there's a bunch of uh, models that you can run. Um, you'll see mine is still loading up. Uh, but for this video, we want something like, uh, you know, something that has a Disney feel sort of character. Um, yeah, kind of uh, 3D, you know. So let's just scroll through and see if we can get that. Um, there is actually a lot you can do with Tensor Art, including running, um, you know, realistic, realistic models and all that. So today we'll be using the 3D animation genre. <clears throat> uh let's log into our account you can just use your google account it's actually a very easy uh sign up process so once you're in uh we're going to run our model and after that we can now start using uh prompts uh for what we want to see uh what we get so I have input uh, the basic description, which is a beautiful 25 year old black skin woman, short uh, black curly hair, thin eyebrows. You see, the basic prompt remains the same. That is how you get a consistent character. So, uh, if you're looking to 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 get a consistent character, then that's very really important. You have to make sure that the basic description remains the same. And something else you, in your description, make sure that uh, you've made it clear that you want a character that is, you know, facing straight. Uh, we want some. Uh, we want a character that is facing the camera because of the lip syncing uh, step. If your character is facing different directions, then that's going to be a problem with the lip syncing, or it's going to look awkward. So I've been playing around with these characters. Um, as you can see, I'm getting a bit of consistency in character. Um, the left and the right are two different people, but with each prompt, it uh, it 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 brings the same character, the same faces, yeah. So I'm going to choose one of the two. Uh, as you can see, that uh, the faces are quite consistent. You can try in putting different facial expressions. That's not going to mess up with your character description. Yeah, you can also try different outfits, uh, different poses here and there. But remember, for the lip syncing character, we need a character that is facing straight ahead, you know, like facing the camera. That part is really important. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I think this character is quite consistent. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just scroll through and see. As you can see, this is looking really good. So I'm just going to choose one of these characters for uh, for the next step. They're actually all looking really good. Um, so let's choose uh, this one. Yeah, this one will do. So just uh, download. Uh, once it's saved to your, you know, computer, then you're ready for the next step. So the next thing you'll need is to generate a voiceover for your video. Uh, so you can either choose to record your own voice. If not, you can choose to use an AI tool to generate your voiceover. So if you're using your own voice, then basically all you need is to record your voice. Uh, but if you're using an AI tool to generate the voiceover for you, then you'll need a script. So you can write the script out yourself. If not, you can also use a tool like ChatGPT to uh, create the script for you. So I have uh, given it a simple prompt to write an introduction for my new YouTube channel. And I can see it's generating a really lengthy um, introduction, which is fine. Uh, so we're just going to scan through it and see if any of it is actually usable. Um, and I can see the first paragraph is actually 
good enough and i believe for the purpose of this video it's going to it's 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 going to be enough for the purpose of this video so what you're going to do is i'm just going to copy this and then we can head over to the next ai tool the next ai tool that you'll be using is og og is a tool that you can use um uh, to create your videos but today all you need to do is get a, um, a voiceover from og so the first thing you learn to do is uh hit create uh, uh once you click the create button it will bring you to this interface so i'm just uh, doing a little editing uh, that's done so once you're done with that uh, all you need to do now is choose the voice over and it's actually really important to remember this point that you don't need to go through the whole you know objective edit voice orientation appearance and all um all you need is the edit voice uh once you're in this stage don't go, uh, don't go beyond that so as you can see uh there are a bunch of options you can choose to record yourself or you can choose uh, one of the available voices there are quite a bunch of them and they actually sound really good so you can just go through them and see what works for you uh, so today let's go with caroline we're just going to see what caroline sounds like uh, in this case so once you choose your voice the next thing you do is just hit preview your script and that will generate the script for you it's going to take a minute uh but i promise you it's worth the wait so let's see what we get from caroline so you just hit the play button hello ai enthusiasts tech aficionados and curious minds i'm thrilled to introduce you to a groundbreaking journey into the realm of artificial intelligence on ai tools unlimited if you're fascinated by the limitless possibilities that AI unlocks, you've just found your digital home. Now, I think that sounds very nice. It actually sounds really good. Uh, but if you don't like the voice that you've chosen, you can always go back and choose the voice and, you know, hit preview again, and then it will process the script all over again. Uh, but if you like the script now, this is where we get off. You hit the three dots and you hit download don't go beyond that so our third and final step is to lip sync our avatar and for that you're going to use hey Jen. Uh, there's a bunch of things that you can do with hey Jen. it's actually a pretty cool ai tool uh but today we're going to just use it to generate our talking avatar so we already have our own so all that we need to do is hit on the photo avatar yeah, as you can see there's an option to create your own but since we already have ours all you're going to do is um you're just going to click on the upload token photo so we're going to upload the photo that we created earlier um so at this point i recommend that you edit your avatar otherwise you're just going to get um uh, your avatar in a circular you know a frame so just hit edit and once you edit make sure you hit original mode otherwise your your talking avatar will be will be in a round frame and you know that may limit you when you're doing your final editing you know for your for the final years of your video so just make sure you do that little editing so the next part is uh here where you come to you know create now the video uh so once you have your avatar there now the next thing you can do is input a text script but we do not need that since we already have our audio so what you do now is just hit audio script and you'll have an option to upload your own as you can see we've already uploaded our own audio script so all you do now is just hit submit and let the tool you know uh lip sync the character with the audio that you've provided Hello, AI enthusiasts, tech aficionados, and curious minds. I'm thrilled to introduce you to a groundbreaking journey into the realm of artificial intelligence on AI Tools Unlimited. If you're fascinated by the limitless possibilities that AI unlocks, you've just found your digital home. As you can see, this looks so good. 
So at this point, all you need to do is just import your, uh, your avatar and you can use it for whatever purpose that you want. Um, you can edit with a fake background and all that according to what you want it for. I hope you enjoyed that video and that you learned something new. Kindly remember to hit that subscribe button. It's going to help me a lot. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.